I don't know. I don't really understand why, but there is a segment of the gaming uh, community that really, really loves Sonic. Sonic yes. is never good. If you disagree, you can call the cops. Also, yeah. the reason is they all want to have sex <laughs> with Big the Cat. That's true. <laughs> that is still the reason. No, look, I, I said it an hour ago. I'll say it again. You know, out of all the people here, I really dislike you the most, you smug son of a bitch. So, for those of you who did not know, IGN had some kind of fucking game scoop bullshit. I don't fucking know. I just know that one day, I was having a nice day, I decided to refresh my YouTube descriptions page. And I saw a video type, uh, quoting Sonic was never good. And it was those egotistical fuckboys at IGN saying, oh, Sonic was never good, and the only reason we want, or no, the only reason we like Sonic is because we want to fuck Pick the Cat. Like, really, motherfucker? Really? <sighs> Anyways, this is, I don't really care if you can call me, you can call me Leafy or not, but that's the way I'm gonna do this video, because that's like the only way I can express how I feel towards certain things, certain points in this video. Anyways, yeah, let's get right into this shit. Uh, Alright, well, continuing down our, our uh, nostalgic path this week, two new Sonic the Hedgehog games were announced over the weekend at Comic-Con. First up is Sonic Mania, a new 2D platformer with the core classic Sonic gameplay. PS4, Xbox One, and PC spring of next year, and it is reimagined areas from Sonic's 1, 2, 3, CD, and Knuckles, I think. That I missed. I thought it yeah. was just an all-new game. No, no reimagine levels. Yeah, it's only totally going to be like you're going through re uh, Green Hill Zone oh. from Sonic 2, and you're like, this is familiar, and then... Okay, so already they done fucked up. They said Green Hill from Sonic 2. See, this just proves that they do no research for what they do at all. They just go to other people's videos and just say what they um, say in those videos, and just try to play it off like they know how, what to do. And God, my voice is already killing me doing this. Like, this is familiar, and then all of a sudden there's a boss at the end that's different, or pulled from Knuckles, or, yeah, like, like they're sort of stitching. It's only like a, like a mixtape. Yeah, plus new levels. Yeah. yeah. Weird. Yeah, um, the 2D one's far more interesting to me. Uh, the, the broody, grim, dark, save the world other one. Like, it's, it reeks of werehog, yeah. and I'm not, I'm not I mean, the it. trailer looked great. Like, it yeah. felt like the music. <laughs> reeks of werehog? Wow, IGN. Have you seen yourselves play freaking Sonic Unleashed? Just have you seen yourselves play it? Yeah, IGN, you're a fucking goon. Like, it yeah. felt like the music was great, and the graphics were great, just the mix of old and new. Um, and yeah. I, when I saw Sonic Mania, I thought to myself, we might finally have the, a second good Sonic game. Yeah, so there was, was a good... Was there a first? Well, yeah, was there a first? <laughs> Sonic CD. Like Sonic CD. It's funny. Uh, All right. That's somewhat of your opinion, but you make it sound like it's a fact, which makes you wrong. Sonic CD, yes, it's a good game. But it's not the best. It has problems. But then Christian Wrighthead, he made the re-release of it and it like fixed the whole spin dash and the super peel out problems with it or whatever. But still, CD is not the best, honestly. So I don't know why they gotta go and say it like it's a fact, because it really is not. It's funny. Uh, yeah. Um, I, thought, I thought you would say Dr. Robotnik's Mean Beans. Oh, no. That one's good. That's a legitimately good game. Oh, I loved starring as the player in that game. <laughs> <laughs> so people seemed uh, excited about this Sonic Mania announcement. Yeah. But I don't know. People seem to have forgotten that uh, not too long ago there was Sonic the Hedgehog 4. Yep. It was re released episodically. It had two episodes. Yeah, and I think it was pretty yeah. mediocre. There was also. All right, so it's obvious that there's not much to say about the fact that. IGN obviously did not do any research on Sonic Mania, because they don't even know that. The creator of this game is Christian Whitehead, the guy who remade the Sonic 1, I'm pretty sure, Sonic 1, Sonic 2, and, well, would have made Sonic 3, but uh, it, we, we still haven't gotten it yet, sadly. I'm not sure about Sonic 1, I know he remade Sonic 2, I need to look at my phone, but, yeah, whatever. Yeah, but he, like, um... Got the physics for his classic Sonic pretty much on point. He remade the games on pretty much perfectly. And that he's making a classic game, he knows what he's doing. This game is not gonna fail. Yet, they bring up past failures, and not even failures, 
Sonic 4 Episode 1, I mean, it was, eh, and Sonic 4 Episode 2, I mean, it was better than Episode 1, but hey, it still had problems, but hey, as I say hey so many times, it was, mm, everyone has their fuck-ups. <sighs> whatever. Generations, which was uh, predominantly 2D, um, had some 3D stuff in it, but like, I, I think we're, okay. I think we're at the Real point talk. where we need to admit that this was never really a great franchise. Nope. And that we, they, we keep trying and trying and trying to find this thing that was never really actually no, there. Sonic was never good. Yeah, it was a 25-year like, lie. Yes. <laughs> it was like they, they re-released like Ecto Cooler this year. And we're like, hell yeah, brings me back to middle school. And I went and I drank it. And I'm like, this is not that great. And I was like, maybe it never was that great. Maybe it's just green water. I don't know. I don't really understand why. But there is a segment of the gaming... Uh, community that really, really loves Sonic. Sonic yes. is never good. If you disagree, you can call the cops. Also, yeah. the reason is they all want to have sex with Big the Cat. That's true. <laughs> that is still the reason. No, look, I, I said think... it an hour ago. I'll say it again. I think. <laughs> really? We want to fuck Big the Cat. Uh, I honestly have nothing else to say about this. I said it's the beginning of video. I have nothing else to say now. Just, just what the fuck? Really? Just really? It's just bending, honestly. When you're a kid, um, Sonic is awesome, right? Because, the, like, especially fast. back then, he's fast. Yeah. Uh, the characters are cool. The level design is really cool. It's, it's a lot grittier than Music's Super great. Mario World. And the music's great. Um, and you get about halfway through that game, and then you realize it's, a, it's actually very cumbersome and tedious, and it's not very well laid out. It's trial um, and error. It's, it's very trial and error. Yeah. Uh, and then you, you, you just kind of, like, you put up with it when you're a child because you, you don't think of... You don't really know there's a whole other world out there. Well, when people but, picture Sonic, they're picturing Green Hill Zone. And yeah. You're zipping around and going over loops, and in Sonic 3, there's a big ship, and it's yeah. awesome. And they're forgetting the back half of the game that's, like, very tedious and boring. And the, the terrible again. boss fights and the spikes. Yeah. All right, now this part just proves how much these shitheads sucks at Sonic games, honestly. And they say the game is very trial error and tedious. Okay, maybe Sonic 1, but that game is not horrible, okay? It's okay. It's the start of a franchise. Start is gonna be the best, honestly. I mean, for some games it may be, but some games it won't be. So, really? And then they said the horrible boss fights. Oh, that proves even more how bad you are at the games, because most of the boss fights are easy. I feel like the only tedious thing that can be in the boss fights is when you have, like, one minute left. Because you know how there's only nine minutes in Sonic 3? And if you run out of time, and, well, you're pretty much screwed. That's, like, the pretty much the only tedious thing that I find in the boss fights. That and, um, having, like, one ring or no rings at all during that fight. And no lives or anything, either. That's pretty much the only tedious thing that can happen to you. But you gotta be really shit at the game for to have that happen. And the spikes are annoying. They're, it's, it's, it's an obstacle in the game. You're just gonna get through the game without having any ob obstacles whatsoever. Really? Just really? Double boss fights and the spikes, yeah. the bottomless yeah. pits. Once you get to, I, I believe, the drowning it's... music. That I... Even like Casino Zone, which is like a cool idea for a level, is mostly just like terrible pinball Well, tedium. that's what Casino Zone is like Vegas, where it's like a cool idea in theory for a <laughs> yeah. place, and then you get there, and after an hour, you're like, what the hell am I doing? Let me leave. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And you're trapped. Yeah, you so just have smoke, and you don't know where outside is. I, I feel bad for Sega, because Sonic is their, is their number one, fran is their biggest franchise ever, and they've been chasing this ghost for decades. Hmm, I don't get it either. I mean, Sonic has been around for 20 years, having great games, some stumbles upon the road, amazing comic series, I must say, TV shows, plushies, action figures uh just so much yeah i totally don't know why it has such a big fan base most for decades now it's, and well, yeah it is fascinating uh, i've talked about this book before uh console wars mm -hmm. yeah. show it's incredible uh required reading for anyone who loves video games uh but yeah like but it, when they introduced sonic in the in like 1990 circa 1990 91 it totally worked for Sega and push them ahead of Nintendo in the 16-bit yeah. uh, console wars. Like, there, there is something there to it yeah, that, that yeah. people latched onto. Yeah, I, I don't understand. What it is yeah, personally. I think the difference was within five or six years of, of the of the release of, of those games. And Sonic One mm -hmm. is a non-issue. It's just it's a terrible game. Sonic Two, I think, is yeah. and Sonic Knuckles have redeem, redeemable aspects. Within five years of those games, you could play Sonic Two and you could play Super Mario World in the same afternoon, and you realize which one aged better. And you fast forward to now, twenty something, thirty, whatever how long it's been. Um, yeah. Super Mario has just aged better. Like it just oh, yeah. always has. Sure. And many retro games have. Um, it's just, 
it just never was that great. We're gonna get a lot of hate. The other, but... I said it once, I'll say it again. IGN, you suck at Sonic games. We're gonna get a lot of hate. The other, but no. <laughs> the other one, uh, the other new Sonic game is uh, some, something new, 3D, coming holiday 2017. Yes. To PS4, Xbox One, PC, and Nintendo NX. Yeah. It's funny, too, at the end of the trailer, they have a little NX logo that's just like an N and an X in a font that I'm pretty sure Sega created. Oh, they did, yeah, yeah. for sure. It's funny, because I'd never... And, well, that's pretty much it. They shit on Sonic for the whole time, nothing positive at all, just constantly bashing on Sonic. So, in conclusion, everyone, Sonic is a bad game. Any of us who are fans should call the cops, and we love fucking Vivid Cat, why don't we? And can't forget... Green Hill from Sonic 2.